Time to put on some gloves. These are defensive bees. Lots of alarm pheromone going off here. It's interesting to see how defensive the bees are once they come out of the, the, the top entrance. But once you pull the top off and they get hit with that cold air, they just, they just shut down. Or most of them do anyway. But there's a fairly large cluster up top. And uh, now they've got a rim. See that thing right there? It looks like a, like a hole in the rim. That's, that's a rim. So that's enough to put in some nice heavy sugar bricks. And what we've got here, this is the inner cover. This is some insulation. And there's some poop right there. Some bees just pooped. Anyway, um, the bees are down there. And this insulation keeps them a little bit warm. And then I take this pillow, which is just an old cotton pillowcase filled with straw and some wood chips. And I shove it into this ventilation rim. Yeah, so this goes down like this. So any moisture there inside the hive will rise up through that inner cover hole in a gaseous form. Hit, go up, hit the top of this top cover, which is cold, condense, drip down on this, and then evaporate out. It still keeps a lot, most of the heat in, uh, but it lets out just enough moisture so the bees aren't soaking wet. Can you see it? There we go. See that? <laughs> and that's, uh, that's their shelter. The only thing I don't like is that these bees are clustered up high already and both of the colonies living in these hives here on the farm have been clustering up high for some reason I don't know why and they've been doing that since the beginning of the, of the whole they, they've never really gone down uh, so and I think they've got plenty of honey but I'm not sure so um, I'm gonna drop by the next time I'm here probably in two weeks and put some sugar on this hive and these guys are very uh, defensive but I just put this wrap around them today just to see what happens and that's looking good again they've got a instead of a, an entrance up top they've got an entrance right here sort of in the middle of their top medium super I think this is a four medium hive so it's just essentially a three deep hive and uh, and so I've got there's the hole right there and um, I've got this yogurt container over the hole to protect it from rain and wind and the elements. Got a wide open bottom entrance for extra ventilation with a quarter inch mesh or six millimeter mesh to keep the shrews out. And it's not too clogged up with bees yet, so it's not really a problem. And it's looking good. Uh, they've got a rim and they're clustered up high too. There's a nice big cluster. And I'm gonna come by in about two weeks or whenever I feel like it. Uh, I'm going to drop some sugar underneath that uh, rim, and we'll call it done. Um, it technically doesn't have a top entrance, but it does have a lot of does have ventilation up top at the same time. And I think this is actually a pretty good setup. I, I don't mind the setup. I think uh, this unwieldy uh, box up top, this uh, DE Hive ventilation box, whatever it's called, I think that's not necessary. I think I could get by with just like a a regular. Uh, top like this telescoping top cover over an over a ventilation rim with a with a pillow inside But generally I think this is a pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty good setup. I like it um, 
because this little bit of extra, the ventilation, this is still really good for t helping excess moisture escape from the hive, having having a, an upper upper-ish in entrance. But um, but still, there's this section right here that that holds the heat in, and just through natural convection, that'll just you know go around and keep the bees warm, and, and it won't escape up the top entrance hole. Although it will, a little bit of heat will come out through the inner cover, uh, the the ventilation hole and the ventilation rim and all that jazz, but not a lot, right? The bees don't need to be that warm. Um, this stuff, I'm curious to see if this stuff makes any difference, but if it's going to make a difference, it'll make a difference to these hives out that are out in the exposed to the elements. They're, they're, there's a lot of wind out here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. The queen is supposedly going to start laying more eggs now. So I might drop in some uh, pollen patties too uh, when I add that sugar in a couple of weeks, just to get the queen a little uh, juiced up for laying eggs for the spring.